What up, what up? Winbush here. And today I want to show you guys this quick tip with Redshift. Now this comes in the latest version of version 3.0.13. And this is auto sampling. So if you come over to system, you'll see a tab here that says experimental options. So if you click down here, you'll see enable auto sampling. So when you click that, this is going to automatically do the samples for you. So, you know, you don't have to mess around with the samples here inside of the um, the basic, like the min and max samples, any type of sample override for like your reflections, refractions. You don't have to mess with this stuff anymore. It's automatically going to do it for you. But there is a catch right now. Like if you're using, let me see under your GI, you can't use the radiance cache. I believe it only works for brute force. Going based off of what I saw here on the um, server. Now I actually link this down below as well. But it says here that, um, yeah, it says, please note that the samples for a radiance cache and a radiance point cloud will still be used as point based GI techniques does not use auto sampling. And so I guess you could use only brute force and maybe photon map, which I never really used. I've usually used a radiant cache and sometimes brute force, but just take that into consideration. But yeah, I just wanted to share this quick tip with you. You go under systems, experimental options, and then go to automatic sampling. So test it out on your hardware. See if it works good for you. If so, you're good to go. Like I said, I'll link the forum down in my comments down below. So you guys go in there, kind of give out, uh, um, you know, any messages that you guys have for the dev team, what's working for you, what's not. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.